The buses queued at a crossing point before moving into the enclave along a road on the former front lines that had been cleared of barricades, debris and unexploded ordnance. The army was advancing into towns the rebels had retreated from in preparation for their exit, state television said. It broadcast pictures of the massive trenches and other fortifications the rebels were leaving behind. It means only Doma is left of the opposition's eastern Gouda enclave which a month ago the United Nations said was home to 400,000 people. About 7,000 people, fighters along with family members and other civilians who do not wish to come back under Assad's rule, were to leave the towns of Zamaka, Arban, Ain Terma and Jobar starting on Saturday, rebels and state media said. They will go to Idlib province in the northwest the destination for many such evacuations after sieges and ground offensives forced numerous rebel enclaves to surrender in the past two years. It will not mean an end to their experience of war. Syrian military and Russian air raids on Idlib have increased in the past week, killing dozens of people. Idlib is also unsettled by fighting between the rebel groups. On Saturday, an explosion at a headquarters for Al-Qaeda's former affiliate killed at least seven people and injured 25 others. The Britain-based observatory said there were also negotiations with the Jayish al-Islam rebel group that controls Doma to release prisoners. Wail Alwan, spokesman for the Fayalak al-Rahman group that was dominant in Zamaka, Arban, Ain Terma and Jobar, was quoted by Al-Hadath television on Saturday as saying he did not trust Russia's guarantees. A Russian military webcam at the al wafidin crossing point near Doma showed small groups of civilians continuing to flee the danger of further bombardment into government territory, carrying children and sacks of belongings. Russia's military said more than 105,000 people had left eastern Gouda, including over 700 on Saturday. Tens of thousands have fled their homes in the past week as the bombardment of Doma intensified and refugees from other parts of Gouda found the basement bomb shelters too full to take them.